Hello, welcome. Harry here. Harry the Snack Guy. Let's uh let's wrap up this gift box, this mystery box that my brother, my sister-in-law, and their son, my nephew, got for me. There's no theme this time. The first the first uh episode of this series was the jerky, and then we had like the snack cakes from Mexico, and now it's just it's random. Turbos Flamas. Aesthetically, this looks like Takis, but the snack doesn't look like talk like the, the packaging i mean looks looks like talkies but the snack looks like its own thing smell test a little bit of a cheeto smell a little bit of that like um cheesy smell kind of looks like a flaming hot cheeto it's got a little heat on it strong corn taste like a frito and then I'm getting the heat. Getting maybe a little bit of the lime. There's a lime on the bottom of the package. And it may be a little bit of the sourness. That had a lot more lime flavor. Interesting. They do actually have a bit of a kick on them. They're good, not great. A little bit lacking in the flavor department, but... Okay. Not bad. Next are... Mango tamarindo. I, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that. Tamarindo. It's like it's like a dried fruit. Smell test. It smells a little funky for this little guy. Is that cinnamon on there? I think that is cinnamon. That's weird. Cinnamon on dried fruit. It's a little bit like a mango, a little bit like an orange, but more like muted. Not as like bright as like a citrus, like a citrus, like they always use that word bright when you're talking about citrus flavor. The cinnamon's weird on that. And texture wise, not a fan. I'm not the biggest fan of dried fruit. I really am not. I don't like that texture. Banana chips are good, but those have like a crunch. And what I want is the crunch. This is like more chewy. I don't know if I'm going to go back in for another bite. I, I didn't like that really all that much. I'm actually like not a fan of that at all. It wasn't so bad that I'm like disgusted, but I, I'm i I'm close to it. I'm like as close as you can be to that line without going over. So some chocolate. I'm so excited about the fact that it's dairy free. Got chilies and cherries. I love sweet heat. So if this, if this promises sweet heat, the cherry sweet, the heat. Chilies? I don't know. I don't know what specific type of chili that is. Break off a piece. Smells like chocolate. It's like 90%, 95% chocolate. I can maybe taste bits of um, cherry. It's not spicy. I guess there's bits of chili and cherry in the chocolate. I finally did get a bite of the chili, but I mean, like I said, there's a little heat on that, like once you, you chew up the cherry, but uh, or the chili. Ha, that's a tongue twister. It's still, the the, the initial flavor you're getting is like 90, 95% chocolate. So like, it's a decent bar of chocolate. Don't get me wrong, I like it. But uh, not getting the sweet heat that I want. I don't know if pimentos are a snack. I don't know if people are just eating pimentos as a snack, but it was in this mystery box, so I'm going to try it. Gotta be careful about the smell test. If you've ever had like salad peppers in a jar, that's exactly what that smells like. I mean, that's basically what it is. It's jarred peppers. Briny, but you can smell it's like a little, you get, you, sometimes, you know, you can smell spicy. So it's like briny and a little bit spicy. I just realized I should be using a spoon for this. So this is gonna be a little bit ridiculous what I'm about to do. But hey, I'm a bit of a ridiculous guy. Those are just like, like I said, jarred salad peppers. There's a little bit different of a flavor profile, but that's basically just the jarred pepper in a brine or whatever you want to call it. It's okay, but I mean, I'm not like eating jarred salad peppers either. So like you need it in something. You need it in a salad. You need it in a sandwich. You need it in like, you know, I know they make um the pimento cheese. You need it in something. Last but not least... Why not a smoky bacon ketchup? I'll test. 
it smells a lot more like barbecue sauce than it does um, a ketchup. Again, I should have a spoon for this, but I don't. So I'm just gonna do a little knife full. There's real bacon bits in that. That's interesting. It smelled like barbecue sauce. It does actually taste a little bit more like ketchup. The the actual taste. I'm gonna go for one more bite. This I think would be phenomenal on like a um some sort of like um like a slow cooker meat or like chicken or pork or something. It's interesting. Eating that makes me realize how much vinegar is a basis of ketchup. At least American ketchup. At least the stuff to get out of the bottle. Because ketchup should be tangy. This has the flavor of ketchup without the tang. It's replaced by smokiness. It's a little confusing to the palate, but it's it's really good. I really like that. Well, that about wraps up the mystery box I got for Christmas from my brother, my sister-in-law, and their, their son. So thank you to them for getting me that gift. I love the mystery boxes. I know they I know they know that. I love the um, I love sharing these like reactions to the mystery boxes with everybody. It was a, it was a, it was a journey. I like the chaotic randomness of it. I like the wide variety of things that were in this box. I just I really like the mystery box thing. So definitely going to be doing more of those in the future. Thank you. Do all the things you're supposed to do. Like this video, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.